All right, we're here with Tim uh, Danahy from Biomost Corporation, a nonprofit group specializing in passive mine drainage treatment systems. Uh, Tim, thanks for uh, coming to the Capitol today to uh, talk about some new technology. Uh, can you just give us a, a thumbnail about that technology? Okay, yeah, the technology is actually very old. Uh, it originally uh, traces back to the 17th century, but kind of reinvented around the, uh, the turn of the previous century and, and, and reinvented again most recently with uh, Bruce Levitt, uh, who brought the technology out. The Tromp is, is basically an air compressor, but it's a passive air compressor, meaning it has no moving parts and it doesn't require any electricity. And what you can do with that compressed air is use it in mine drainage treatment, especially with um, where you have alkaline water, where you need to oxidize iron in order to settle it out. Uh, a lot of sites, there's not much room and there's not a whole lot of drop in order to build a passive treatment system. And a lot of times you need a large wetland to take out a lot of iron. The trump helps to speed up the reactions in order to reduce the footprint of those treatment systems. And on some systems uh, where they've already been constructed, and there's no more room to build, uh, we can go in and install a trough and that will increase the effectiveness of the treatment system and then keep that iron uh, from flowing through the system into the stream and actually retain it in the system and make the systems work better with the same footprint or even smaller footprints, which will help reduce the uh, capital cost on new systems. You don't have to build as large a system um, and it can increase the effectiveness of existing systems. How many uh, systems do you have you installed so far? And, uh, and generally, where are they? Uh, well, we have uh, systems in uh, Fayette, Allegheny, and Clearfield counties. Uh, two of those are on mine drain on passive mine drainage treatment si sites where we're using it to oxidize the iron and increase the effectiveness of the passive systems. Uh, the other one is actually being used um, on a chemical treatment site where there's no electricity, but in order to enhance the chemical mixing, we're actually using the compressed air generated by the Trump to enhance the use of that chemical. And in, in that, in, in conjunction with another technology known as Mixwell, we've actually been able to reduce the chemical consumption at that site by about 40%. Uh, saving the treatment trust over $17,000 a year. Well, there are a lot of people interested in this, not only the state and, and local groups, but I understand you partnered with the uh, Federal Office of Surface Mining and other groups. Can you give me a little idea of who all has in, been interested in this project? Um, obviously, uh, private mining clients that are using the Trump technology to help uh, ensure environmental compliance. Um, but the Office of Surface Mining, through their Applied Science Program, they, were allow they allowed us um, to do a fair amount of research on the efficiency and the construction of these tromps um, and we're in the process of writing a paper right now that watershed groups can go in learn enough about them and go and put them in themselves in order to help with their treatment system so watershed groups um, uh, are very interested in this technology especially with, with the help um, with the work that's being funded through the office of surface mining um, and then there's also you know, mining companies that have water treatment liabilities and also the State Department of Environmental Protection uh, who manages a number of treatment sites throughout the state um, can use this technology to help lower uh, the treatment costs and also increase treatment effectiveness. And based on the presentation that you and Bruce gave today, it's, it's technology that can be used in both anthracite and bituminous areas. Uh, absolutely, it's, it's not just limited to to, to the bituminous, it's anywhere you have um, iron that you need to oxidize and settle out, and it's not, and, and this technology um, isn't limited to mine drainage treatment. It can use in sewage treatment somewhere where you need low, basically low pressure um, compressed air in order to aerate the water, um, aquaculture, you know, fish farms, um, also lake aeration, um, and other places where you, you need compressed air. Uh, the beauty of it is that you don't need to run power lines, you don't need to have somebody maintaining them all the time. Uh, um, you can go out there and install them. You have a capital cost, but the you know the, the, the maintenance of them is very, very, very minimal, um, and so it allows watershed groups to do more treatment in places where they wouldn't necessarily be able to. Any idea what the um, scope of or the kinds of discharges this could be applied to? I mean, every discharge is a little bit different. Right. Um, but is this something that has wide applicability or or narrow applicability? Um, well, as far as um, the, the water chemistry goes, it has to be a, the, the right type of ap application. Generally, it has to be an iron discharge is what you're looking at. So it's a mine drainage discharge that has iron in it. Um, and 
generally they need to be alkaline discharges, whether they, they're, so they're naturally they're not alkaline not discharges yeah. or yeah. they've gone through yeah. another treatment step like a vertical flow yeah. pond or an oxic limestone drain to bring up the alkalinity, yeah. then the tromps can be used in conjunction with those um, sites. Uh, and as far as the, the flow range that can be used, um, what's exciting is we've done them on, on flow rates as low as 30 gallons a minute uh, and up to about 150 gallons a minute so far. Uh, the exciting thing is that it's already, the technology is already proven to be able to, to, to generate a tremendous amount of air through the ragged chute um, uh, tromp that actually verted an entire river into the system and generated 5,000 horsepower of compressed air. Uh, so that was in Canada, as that I was up, yeah, a yeah, long yeah, time ago. Yeah, Cobalt, Ontario, about 100 years ago. Um, and uh, so the technology is proven as far as what it can do as far as volumes of water. It just needs, you know, as far as the applicability to mine drainage discharges. And I don't think we have any discharges as large as the Montreal River in the mm -hmm. state of Pennsylvania right now. So, so you and Biomost and, and Bruce and a lot of people are experimenting with mm -hmm. sort of new old technologies. Okay. Yeah. A lot of new yeah, yeah. science of applied to old problems. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what's out there yet to be discovered, I guess? What <laughs> old technology can you bring forward? I, I'll be excited to, to, to find out myself. I mean, this is just you know one example of what, what can be done. It actually came out of Bruce's head. He saw it. He saw the ragged chute uh, compressor working back when he was in college. Uh, it came out of the back of his head, and we're able to apply it today and help out uh, both mining companies and uh, watershed organizations in the DEP with it so far. So. Good. Well, Tim, congratulations uh, to you and Bruce for bringing something that's old, uh, making it new again. Thank you very much. Thanks.